Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the XCOM Unity. And uh, we are slowly but steadily expanding our border. And uh, we are currently removing some pesky aliens from our system. You are going to Kaldax, which means that you can go over to here, maybe. Well, soon at least, to uh, expand and build some mining stations. And what do we have here? We have an alien vessel. System survey complete. Wow! This place is crap! Whoa! Research complete. Oh, thank you. Form Federation. Yes, we will do that when we uh, get the chance. Naval capacity plus 10%. Yes, thank you. Now, if I actually pick my uh, fleet, it will be even better. Hopefully, these aren't big and Debris scary. Analyzed. Thank you. Cloud lighting conduits. Regenerative health tissue, physics and society research. You can now go... I don't know. I don't think we can send you there. How about there? And you go there. Thank you very much. You are on your way. Thank you very much. Well, warp drive is really a big tech. 50 month. Now let's see. Ooh, big fleet. This is going to hurt. Life, life tree protectors. Go, go, go. Even if it will um, hurt a little bit. Hostile fleet engaged. Pew. Yeah, those things are eating shields like crazy. We lost one. Situation log updated. Nice. We only lost one. That's pretty good. Which means that we can go and uh, build one new. Oh well, why not two? Because we can. And uh, construction is going well. Of course, we need a. Uh, Science station at Gamma Draconis and Krakum. Krakum. Something like that. Hi. Oh, come on. I want you to really like me. Construction no, complete. We're not gonna ask them to be our vassals or uh, try and be their vassals because that's not a really good thing and we're running a deficit again you go over here and then you go over there Please be something good. We're not losing mu much. 0 0.76. But uh, that is 
way too much for uh, I don't really like it I would rather see that we don't lose money at all system survey complete hello there is whoa another one of those worthless construction complete planets systems systems Transfer all, you know, when you're done. I really do like the music as well. It uh, feels epic. You can really, you know, sense the space war coming. Sometime in the future, the build up is intense, and at some point, they will drop the base. Now you're done. Awesome. So, merge, transfer all. You're not even in the same system. That kinda explains it. And um, what do we have here? The elusive tarblack. And here was the space oh, but it is like super hostile. Seriously dude. Oh it's getting closer. At some point, they will be like, Yeah, we really like you. Plasma thrusters. Warp drive. All our things will be glorious. In due time. In due time. Where are we going next? Over here? Or is this the place where there are like... Super big fleets? You know, by early game standards. Plus five. That is really nice. Why can't we get a good energy system? Just why? And we are really boxed in here. I'm not really a fan of it. Okay. Oh, good. Just a few small fleets. I think they're... Special crystals. project complete. Special project completed. After rigorous research, we, are now, we now understand why the tree sap summoned those creatures. The tree is able to produce a highly nutritious substance which has machine-like abilities to repair organic tissue. The, tr the tree is a tree of life. If we harvest it, we could use it to expand the lifespan of our people, but there is one problem. The tree's healing power is limited in amount. We can only use it to improve a small group of people's lives substantially, or increase everyone's situation by a small amount. Hmm. If we give it to our leaders, they will live plus 50 years. If we give it to our people, we will get a um, happiness bonus of 15%. Or we just, you know, let it go. But I'm gonna give it to the people because happiness is research complete. really good. And we just increase our naval capacity. Can do it one more time if you want to. Alien pets, strategic resource. This does it all nonsense to increase can easily be domesticated and their friendly demeanor and appealing looks would make them popular as pets and companions. Cinephile value them highly and proudly present them in their suits. Engaged. Yes! We can build a zoo! 
hostile fleet engaged. It is as awesome as it sounds. An alien petting zoo. Situation log updated. Hi. Research project. Thank you very much. Service hostile system. fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Um. Research complete. Oh. Plasma thrusters completed. Uh, mineral processing plant. Situation yes, log updated. Thank you. Because you know why not. Now we just cross our fingers and hope that. Um, This system here is filled with energy credits. Credits. And you go and res repair, not research. My brain doesn't really work in this weather. Seeing as it's like 20, 25 degrees Celsius outside, is not healthy for me. My brain is like melting over here. And you are wondering why I'm inside. Well, you see, I have been active all day. I have literally, literally been on top of a roof the whole week. So, uh, when summer really do come, I'm gonna be as brown as a gingerbread man or something like that. Oh, it's getting closer. I can feel the alliance. Give it to me. Oh, 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 oh. Earth. Build a um, colony ship because I want Alpha Centauri. I want it so bad. This is Tundra. This is... Desert. Well, you know, if I actually use my eyes, I can read stuff too. Maybe I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, plus two research. Okay, fine. Build a research station. I'm not really happy about these worlds, but debris analyzed. I guess I can't really complain, and we can't really build a um, frontier outpost because they cost 200 influence, and we're seeing as we System gain one per complete. month, it's not gonna be today. Wow. What a crap system. Science. You can go wherever it was. Here, maybe. Well, go and do that research. Thank you very much. The overload. No, we're not going to issue an edict right now. You are migrating to Earth in 20 months. Okay. You do that. Planetary administration. Yes, thank you. Now, the problem is. You will probably not get here in uh, time for uh, your migration, but we can only hope. Let's see. Debris here. analyzed. No, I don't want any of those. I want the uh, physics lab, which we don't get just yet. And Snakeman have become. Rival by these guys, they 
they I mean they are slavers so I see the point here and the snake my hive is fanatic militarist so there will be some fighting these guys they well they don't really mind us We are out of the way, so they couldn't care less what happens to us. Hmm. We need eight. Can I give you something? Can I give you some minerals? Instant transfer. Okay. How about energy? If I give you civil access, debris, and I'll give you some I don't take anything from you. Will you um, accept? We know a good deal. Let me see one. Accept. Yes. Now, my question to you... Why... Why... Oh, oh! First contact with the Oxcox Empire. I speak on behalf of the Oxcox Empire and, and I bring you greetings, our great leader Emperor Loctral I is very pleased to have made contact with your unique, unique species. And we look forward forward to an exchange of culture and ideas. Cooperation will surely benefit us all. You are over here. And you are fanatic cinephiles and militarists. We are gonna get along fine. Hopefully. Diplomatic insult. For a nation that it has embraced science and materialism, the X community is remarkably primitive. It is due to bad luck, or are you just stupid? Well, I um, hope you have something to back that up. Because if I declare war on you, we will win. You are inferior to us. And that says a lot because we only have 18 Corvettes. So, uh, yeah. Stay very well aware of the fact that we can whoop your ass quite easily. And we are not able to do anything at this moment. Well, I could technically upgrade. No, I cannot, because I need uh, a little bit more credits. Like that. Research complete. Thank you. Technology. Awesome. We got... Oh, we can get even bigger ships soon. But yes. Why do I get so much negative at the moment? Seriously, guys? Why? What have I done? Hmm. Special project complete. Tablet secure. After an extensive search of the seabed on Mitralexis using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the Mitralexis finally managed to corner the elusive target of the search, a live tar black. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that pre that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members of the Metalexis that came into direct contact with the Reptile Black would require extensive therapy, but the mission was has been a success. 
one specimen collected and society research gained 250. Awesome! And a perfect ending to this episode. And hopefully you are still with me. And um, you can kind of see that we are running a deficit on the credits. I hope we can change that next time. Or else there will be problems. But until then, I will have to say goodbye and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.